you all so much for being here this morning. I'm Kate Blackford. I'm the manager of Healthy Community Initiatives for the City of Revere. And with me is... And I am Sylvia Chan, manager of Revere on the Move for MGH, Revere Cares Coalition. Kate and I are the faces of a great community partnership. This morning, um, we are really want, very excited to have you all here with us, and I wanted to take just a moment to introduce our first speaker. Uh, Mayor Rizzo, over the past year, has been an incredible champion for Revere on the Move, both here in the community and with our state officials. Um, under his leadership, we know Revere will become a great, vibrant community. So here to welcome you all is Mayor Dan Rizzo. Kate, thank you uh, so much, and uh, thank you for all the work that you do. Uh oh, there we go. Sorry about that. I'll start over. Uh, I was just saying uh, what a valuable uh, uh, asset. Uh, we have here in our community um, uh, to have somebody like Kate Blackford. She's been a real uh, tremendous resource for me as mayor and uh, for all of our residents who benefit from uh, the good work that she does. So, Kate, thank you very much for what you do. And, Sylvia, I guess I just know you as her partner in crime. I don't know. You are there by her side and... Uh, 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 an equal contributor, um, and uh, again, I want to thank you uh, on behalf of all the residents of our community for the good work that you do also. Um, <clears throat> before I, uh, I just say a few very brief words, I just want to introduce some of the elected officials and uh, uh, other um, uh, representatives here who I uh, would like to acknowledge first from our speaker's office, Speaker Bob DeLeo. We have Barbara Bishop. Barbara, thank you so much. I know the speaker is, uh, the speaker is always there for us when we need him, and uh, please thank him for us for the good work he does also. From our assistant majority, State Representative Kathy Ann Reinstein's office, we have Rosalie Vincent. Rosalie. Thank you also, Rosalie. Um, from Revere Cares, uh, and I say this uh, all the time. I've been mayor now for just about 10 months. And, uh, you know, prior to that, I spent 12 years as a city councilor. Didn't have a, a, full, uh, a full feeling for actually what some of these organizations uh, do and what they actually mean to our community. But I've, I've quickly learned. And uh, one of the people that's been involved for as long as I can remember, and I've really got to know her uh, a lot better since being mayor, uh, is uh, somebody who I, I truly respect and has, again, done so much for our community. That's Kitty Bowman. Kitty, thank you very, very much. Thank you. From our school committee, Dan McGuire. Dan, thank you for being here. Uh, virtually everywhere. I don't know if he's here now, but I, I, Ward 2 City Council. I, oh, there he is. Okay. Ira Novoselsky. Ira, I, I'm, you know, one of these days I'm afraid you're going to show up to my house with muffins in the morning. No matter where I am, you happen to be there. So it's, uh, Ira's a very, very active city councilor and involved in everything that goes on here in the city. Uh, school committee woman, Stacy Rizzo. Stacy, thank you very much for being here, Stacy. We had a nice, uh, Nice walk to school this morning. Our Director of Inspectional Services, Nick Catanazzo. Nick, thank you. Um, Diane Coella from our Election Department is here. Diane, again, thank you. I know you'll be speaking later, but thank you so much for being here. Our City Planner, Frank Stringy, who I know works hand-in-hand -hand with Kate. Frank, thanks, you know, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, First off, um, you know, I see Revere as a city that is on the upswing. Um, there has been so much uh, excitement built up and around, uh, uh, starting with Revere Cares, uh, Revere on the Move, uh, through, through the grant money that we received, uh, our Mass in Motion grant 
that um, really I can't tell you how much uh, we appreciate that because it's allowed us to do things uh, to follow up on that community assessment that was done back in 2006 where it was brought to our attention that um, childhood obesity uh, was a real problem in people's minds in our community. And we've been able to do things, take steps uh, in order to combat that. Uh, you, you, know, you, all know, you, you know, you all know that we uh, had the inauguration of our urban trail that, uh, you know, has, I know I see it firsthand. I live in that neighborhood. People, people are all, always out there walking and trying to, uh, uh, you know, live a healthy lifestyle, which is the goal of, uh, of uh, all these programs uh, that we've tried to institute. We uh, obviously have the farmer's market, and I would like to personally look to expand on that. Uh, in fact, I was, I was uh, talking uh, earlier this morning with Dr. Fazinski uh, about maybe some ways maybe uh, that we could tweak it and make it that much more, uh, uh, um, you know, give people that much more of an opportunity maybe to participate. Um, so, uh, again, uh, you know, this walk to school this morning, for those of you that participated, was great. And, you know, it's really, uh, it's really fun to see the kids react to it. Uh, you know, we can really, uh, as adults, uh, it's amazing the impact that we can have uh, just by a little participation with them and a little encouragement, how we can actually get them to adopt a, health, uh, a, a healthier lifestyle, to get more active. So uh, I really, really want to uh, thank all of you here, virtually all of you that are here in this room here today, for your support for the programs that we are, that we are instituting, will continue to institute, to make Revere a healthier and better place to live. So uh, at this point in time, um, it is my job now to, intri to introduce from the Department of Public Health, Jamie Corliss. Thank you all. I have to assume Jamie Corliss is not here. No, I'm sorry. We're introducing Cheryl Bartlett. Cheryl Bartlett. Did you want to see well, this says introduce Jamie Corliss from PPH. So. <laughs> a prerequisite to becoming mayor is to know how to read. So I did. I uh, so okay. I apologize for that. Um, whoever the next. Oh, we have a modified agenda. Cheryl Bartlett. Okay. So uh, well, hold on for one second. Okay. Um, in the Bureau of Community Health and Prevention, Ms. Bartlett is responsible for the Division of Violence and Injury Prevention, Division of Primary Care and Health Access, as well as the Division of Prevention and Wellness. Ms. Bartlett has extensive experience as a registered nurse and hospital administrator implementing health system changes through quality assessment and improvement practices. She has also provided leadership for healthy community initiatives in several regions across the, straight, across the state to address social determinants of health. Ms. Bartlett chairs the Massachusetts Comprehensive Cancer Advisory Committee for MDPH and also serves on the board of the Mass Prostate Cancer Coalition, Lung Cancer Alliance of Massachusetts, and AIDS Action Committee of Massachusetts. She has held elected and appointed positions at the local level in several, several municipalities and currently serves as the Massachusetts Chronic Disease Director for the Mass Department of Public Health at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I'm very honored now to introduce Cheryl Bartlett. These days at the Department of Public Health, we never know if uh, I'm going to get called to do something else. As you might have heard, we've been in the news a little bit these days. Anyway, this is a pleasant opportunity to be able to come out and be with a community that, that is on the move. And uh, Revere on the Move is really exciting. It was fun to come and take a walk today. And uh, Mayor, we really appreciate your support, particularly uh, you being a mayor that took over from the mayor that kicked off Mass in Motion here in Revere. And sometimes it's really critical to have leadership at the top that supports these kinds of initiatives. And so having a new mayor be as equally enthusiastic about this is really important for the work to continue. We know it takes, it took us a while to get into this obesity epidemic. In 20 years, we've doubled the rates of overweight and obesity across the nation. And despite Massachusetts being the third best in terms of the burden of overweight and obesity, still two thirds of adults are overweight 
overweight or obese, and one third of our children entering our school system. So getting kids physically active and providing healthy food options is really important, and Mass in Motion is one of the priorities of the Patrick and Murray administration to really focus on healthy eating and active living, and trying to reverse these trends. Our society has changed, we're more sedentary, and so finding these ways that we as a community can look at what the barriers are for these things to happen are really important to change our social norms. So today was a great example of a leader in the community setting an example for everyone. So thank you for all for being here. I know you've accomplished a lot of great things. Community gardens are bringing uh, fresh uh, fruits and vegetables to your community, having safe routes to schools. And I heard today that you have one of the best safe routes to school programs that's really been um, embraced by your leadership at, at a community level and at the school level. And these things don't happen unless we have adult leadership that really make them part of the cultural norm here. So we can see that, that that's what you're doing here. And so Mass in Motion, um, Revere is one of our legacy communities. Mass in Motion started four years ago as a public-private partnership with the department who only had a little bit of money because of the budget cuts that we were facing, went and met with health foundations across the state and they brought some fu funding to the table and we were able to fund 11 what we call our legacy Mass in Motion communities and Revere was one of them. And so Based on the success of those 11 legacy communities, we were awarded two community transformation grants from the Center for Disease Control about a year ago. And we were able to expand Mass in Motion to 52 municipalities, and we reach about 33% of the population now, all doing similar types of things in their community based on what some of the community norms and priorities are there. So we're really excited to be able to continue this work and expand it across the state, and we're really hopeful with the new Prevention Trust Fund that's part of Chapter 224 and our Part 2 of Healthcare Reform created a Prevention Trust Fund, and a lot of the language in the legislation focuses on funding community efforts like these. So we're really hopeful that the lessons we're learning in Revere and some of our other communities will carry um, across to all 351 municipalities. And in particular, I'd like to um, thank Partners um, Healthcare because they really stepped up to be one of our funding partners now in a major way and have taken on four mass in motion municipalities. And so Revere was once funded earlier by the Department of Public Health, now funded by partners lets us expand to four other communities. And so we're really thankful for um, your support and being a new funding partner for Mass in Motion. And you, actually, you've been an incredible role model. I've been to meetings, and not only are you funding it, you're actively engaged in making it very successful. So um, again, very exciting to be here. And um, I think I now have the privilege of introducing Dr. Roger Pazinski, who I had the opportunity to walk um, on the Safe Routes to School walk this morning. He's the director of um, MGH Revere Community Health Center and also a practicing physician. And I believe from our conversation this morning really believes in community health and um, health and wellness. So it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Pazinski. This microphone's a little short for me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's great to be here. Um, Mayor Rizzo, uh, distinguished members of the Revere City Council, Revere School Committee, um, honored guests and friends. Um, <clears throat> it's great to be here to celebrate Revere on the Move, <clears throat> a wonderful coalition uh, dedicated to improving nutrition and fitness in Revere. Uh, a healthy Revere means that everyone in Revere has access to uh, great foods and health-promoting foods and the ability to be active. Um, <clears throat> uh, it, was, it was really fun this morning walking to school uh, with many of you and, and these wonderful group of energetic kids. Um, <clears throat> they were smiling and laughing and running and uh, I was struck by the fact that these kids would probably <clears throat> do a, a much better job uh, paying attention in school in that first class and 
and, and learning more because uh, exercise and the brain are so related and a, a good bit of exercise in the morning can really prime you for learning. So um, we'll have to get some feedback from the principal and from the teachers on that issue. Um, on the behalf of uh, all of our staff at MGH Revere and Revere Cares um, and uh, our MGH leadership in Boston, uh, especially Joan Quinlan, uh, who's the director of uh, the MGH Center for Community Health Improvement, and our uh, parent organization, Partners Healthcare. Um, it's great to be here and it's exciting to be part of this new coalition, Revere on the Move. The MGH has been in Revere since 1981. Uh, it was a tiny little health center uh, at that time. It's moved a number of times uh, since and we're now the big center on the beach. Um, and uh, our physicians and staff were very enthusiastic 17 years ago when Revere Cares was first formed. Um, and Revere Cares has dedicated really uh, the last 17 years to uh, eliminating or decreasing substance abuse particularly among youth in Revere, um, uh, a, pro a problem that was identified by uh, the Revere community. Uh, about five years ago, um, <clears throat> Revere Cares took on a new task, uh, which was the Food and Fitness Initiative, um, under the very capable leadership of Sylvia Chang. So, um, this effort uh, intensified uh, greatly with the hiring of Kate and the Mass in Motion grant from the state, which was really outstanding and a, and a, a good shot in the arm. Uh, and now we have uh, a new partner, Partners Healthcare, um, uh, also funding and, and, and helping us out, as uh, Cheryl mentioned. Um, so this, this is very exciting. Uh, there's a lot of work still to do. Um, just last week, um, I was reviewing an analysis of 63 studies um, of over 40,000 kids, um, uh, multi-center studies. Uh, and these kids that are overweight and over, ob obese are already showing increases in blood pressure, uh, increases in total cholesterol, uh, decreases in HDL cholesterol, which is the protective cholesterol in the bloodstream. Um, increased fasting blood sugars, um, increased insulin levels, uh, which is a sign of insulin resistance in the tissues, uh, a pre-diabetic state, um, and increased size of the left ventricle of the heart. And this is kids. These aren't adults. This is kids showing these findings uh, due to obesity and being overweight. So these, these are all the, um, the first signs uh, to show that later on these kids will be in trouble with cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Um, and cardiovascular disease is still the number one cause um, of mortality uh, in our country and in our communities. So, so we've got a lot to do. Um, we doctors and nurses uh, cannot do this work alone. Uh, we really need uh, deep and broad community coalitions and, uh, as represented in this room. Um, together, I think we can have an impressive impact on reversing these trends. Um, so I want to thank you all uh, for the opportunity for us at the Health Center and at MGH and partners to be involved with all of you to solve really this, this very uh, difficult uh, problem uh, that I think we can pull off. Uh, I want to wish all of you and your family and friends a very happy Thanksgiving next week. And a little bit of advice from the doctor. Um, <laughs> enjoy the turkey, go light on the gravy, and go light on the pie, and go for a nice walk with your kids after the meal. So um, I now have the honor to introduce Ronnie Sanders, who is the executive director of Partners Community Healthcare. And uh, Ronnie, welcome. And thanks. It's wonderful to be here. 
And I want to thank the mayor and the local and state dignitaries and all of, all of you and all of us for doing this terrific work and the terrific work you've been doing in Revere for a long time. Um, just driving into Revere, Revere, I have a different sense when I drive in here. I was saying to some of the, to Kate and Sylvia earlier, it just feels like the community is very active and I may be wrong about that, but it is, I'm told to be, to speak louder. Um, it, it, I saw posters all around. It felt, I had a real sense of spirit and energy and uh, really appreciated that. Um, as Roger was saying, this is some of the most important work that we could all be doing, and um, it's key that we all do it together. I think it's one of those community issues that, as a team, as a coalition, from the funders to people doing community organizing, um, thank you, <laughs> uh, that it's, it's clear that, as a team, we are just so much more powerful in addressing the issues of childhood obesity. Um, so I'm delighted to be here, and you all in Revere have been doing so much work in this area. Um, the Urban Trail is a wonderful addition to the community, the farmer's market, um, the work with all the students in the schools, and adopt a park that the, um, some of the high school kids are doing, are making such a difference in people's lives. And um, our work at Partners, through our work at Partners, we hope that this investment to both uh, to Revere and to Chelsea and to Lynn and to Salem makes a difference in people's lives and we really look forward to you guys taking this to the next level and our partners with you all the way. Thank you. I never said that before. That sounds a little weird. But. Thank you, Ronnie, and thank you everyone for being here. I want to share with you that I have an almost daily habit of reviewing literature around food and fitness. Anything goes from newspapers, newsletters, um, medical journals and magazines. And the topics vary from childhood obesity to chronic illnesses to the environment. You can imagine that after years of doing this, uh, very little takes me by surprise. That all changed this past Monday, actually. Parents Magazine broke the news that America's obesity epidemic is now almost as old as Justin Bieber. <laughs> well, my two-and-a-half-year-old son isn't a believer yet, so I had to look up Bieber just to see how old he was. And uh, he's 18 years old and actually born the same, my same birthday. Uh, unbelievable coincidence maybe um, just a decade or three later. But um, anyway, it actually has been uh, 20 to 30 years since the beginning of a trend of overeating and being, um, and, and being less uh, with physical activity. By now, we understand that the problem is multi-pronged and, and that the solution must be as well. The entire community needs to be involved public education and messages about healthy eating and active living are vital, actually. The environments also need to be redesigned. Just at the beginning of this year, the Institute of Medicine developed five goals to accelerate progress in obesity prevention over the next 10 years. And one of those goals is to make schools a national focal point for obesity prevention. Why the schools? Prevention of obesity, the earlier the better, definitely childhood. Where are children? Children are in the schools and they are captive audiences there. It's been proven that well-designed, well-implemented school programs are effective. Most important, it's been documented that physical activity, good nutrition, physical education, and, and nutrition programs are connected to academic performance. This, is all, this all serves to remind us why we value our next speaker so much. Anne-Marie Costa opened Revere School doors for us. As the former Deputy Superintendent of Schools, she and Superintendent Dr. Paul Dakin provide, to this day, unlimited support to Revere on the Move and its mission. Anne-Marie was instrumental in the establishment of the Revere on the Move School Group, leading to its current achievements. She continues to serve on the Revere on the Move Task Force, sharing with us her vast knowledge and experience in the Revere public school system. She offers practical ideas based on her intimate understanding of the schools, the students, and the community. She has boundless energy and always wears a smile. There she is. 
A graduate of Revere Public Schools, Anne Marie earned her bachelor's degree in education from Salem State College, her master's from Leslie University, and doctorate from Walden University. She was the, an elementary school principal in the Revere Public School System for four years uh, before serving as the deputy superintendent for 11 years until just this past June. Anne Marie continues to share her knowledge, experience, and passion for education with the schools as an independent educational consultant. Please join me in welcoming Anne Marie to the podium with a warm round of applause. Sylvia, you're hired. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to. Um say good morning to each and every one of you who took time out of your busy schedules to be present for this important and significant event. Today we celebrate a four-year $240,000 grant award in a new multimedia campaign from Partners Healthcare to support Revere on the Move, which is a mass in motion initiative. This community-led collaboration between the City of Revere and Revere Cares works arduously to make healthy choices around food and physical activity ready available for residents of Revere. Our partnership with Revere on the Move, Mass General Hospital, Revere Cares is perhaps one of the most significant partners, partnerships of all. These partnerships have greatly benefited the diverse students of this community, not only physically, but socially and emotionally. But I am here today to talk to you about the importance of Revere on the Move in our schools. Through the efforts of Revere on the Move and Walk Boston, Revere Public Schools now has a Safe Routes to School program at each of our six elementary schools. Overseen by Revere Safe Route to School Coordinator Julie DeMauro, students are encouraged to walk to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Revere Public School students look forward to participating in this healthy event. And if any of you walked to school this morning, you can see how excited and energetic the students were about walking to school. Promoting walking as a form of exercise will hopefully lead students on a healthier path throughout their lives. Revere on the Move was a critical partner supporting the school district in implementing new nutrition guidelines as a result of recent federal legislation aimed at reducing childhood obesity. Revere on the Move played an instrumental role in assisting the school department in the revision of its wellness policy, which has guidelines for what can and cannot be served during the school day. Our school lunches now have fewer calories, less sodium, and include more whole grains and more fruits and vegetables. By encouraging students to eat healthier in school will hopefully lead them to a healthier life as adults. Revere on the Move also worked with the school district and created a Revere on the Move school group. This group meets monthly and is comprised of teachers and administrators from each of the 11 schools, employees from Mass General Hospital and City of Revere, and school committee members. Key topics discussed at these meetings include opportunities for students to be physically active and ways to increase access to healthy foods. Last year, this group completed the daunting task of completing the school health index for each school. Completing the school health index enabled schools to identify their strengths and weaknesses of health and safety programs in the schools. It also enabled each school to develop an action plan for improving student health and engage teachers, parents, students, in the community in promoting health in enhancing behaviors for better overhaul health. In addition, collecting this necessary data now makes the schools eligible to apply for large monetary grants, including the Carol White Pep Grant and the Safe Schools Grant. Most recently, Revere on the Move School Group has been working on plans to conduct a district-wide fitness challenge, wellness challenge, to be held sometime in late spring. 
This could not happen without, without Rivera on the move spearheading the project. As Dr. Pasinski stated earlier, research suggests a positive relationship between physical activity and academic achievement, the rate of learning, classroom behavior, as well as cognitive, social, and motor skill development. Research also suggests that heavier children have greater risk for school absenteeism than their peers. Schools have the potential to influence habitual physical activity among children by encouraging increased participation in extracurricular activities, athletic activities, by favoring active commuting to school, and by providing exercise equipment for supervision and youth. It is through partnerships such as Revere on the Move that the school district is able to provide additional opportunities for physical activities and healthy living. The message is clear that healthy kids, that raising healthy kids sets our children on a path for healthy adulthood. Our children are our future, and we owe it to them to provide them with every opportunity for a healthy and rewarding life. Thank you, Revere on the Move, Partners Healthcare, Mass General, Mass in Motion, Walk Boston, for believing in our children and working collaboratively to ensure their success. I now have the privilege of introducing our next speaker, Diane Colella, who serves as Election Commissioner for the City of Revere and Revere on the Move Task Force member. Ms. Colella. Good, mo good morning, Mr. Mayor, uh, Rosalie Vincent, elected officials, uh, Kate Blackford, Kitty Bowman, Sylvia, good morning. Um, Associates from Partners Healthcare, Associates from the Department of Public Health, and community members. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak to you today about what, it, about what it means to me to be a member of the Revere on the Move Task Force. Under the direction of Kitty Bowman and Sylvia Chang, I became a member of the Food and Fitness Task Force in 2009. Later, the name was changed to Revere on the Move, and Kate Blackford, a Healthy Community Initiatives Manager, joined the group working alongside Sylvia as a team leader. Uh, it's really a pleasure to work uh, with such energetic women who are so committed to the cause of seeing that the residents of the city of Revere make healthy eating and active living an easy choice for their families on a daily basis. I have thoroughly enjoyed working with them on the Revere's first community garden. And recently, the task force awarded the first set of mini grants to the early childhood program at the Beachmont School with a We Fit Enrichment Station. Uh, we awarded a mini grant to the after school fitness club at the Seacoast High School. Uh, and to Revere's first community garden, we provided shed, uh, a shed, rakes, and shovels so that they continue, can continue their work next summer. Um, I've met a lot of wonderful people while working on these projects and working too with the other members of the task force. Um, it's really a wonderful feeling to be able to give back to the community that you were born in and, and still reside. Um, over the summer, I participated in the mayor's first citywide fitness challenge and I lost five pounds. <laughs> no, honestly, the program was well organized. The participants were friendly and enthusiastic and the instructors were very knowledgeable in their respective fields whether it was karate, weightlifting, or aerobic exercise. Um, it was really an amazing event uh, to participate in. Uh, working on these projects has helped me to gain a real understanding of why it is so important to spread the word to the residents of the city that eating healthy and maintaining an active life lifestyle will serve you well in all aspects of your life. Oftentimes, we're just trying to get through the daily grind and don't have time to think about uh, making healthy meal and snack choices or allowing ourselves to take the time for a brisk walk after school or work. I'm really looking forward to seeing what other great projects Sylvia and Kate have in store for the group, and I will meet their challenges with energy and enthusiasm. In closing, I would like to thank Partners Healthcare for providing the City of Revere with the $240,000 four-year grant and launch, launching the new multimedia awareness campaign and to promote healthy eating and active living. Um, I would also like to thank Mayor Dan Rizzo for his commitment to making uh, Revere a healthy city to work and live in. Thank you.
Diane, thank you so much. I wanted to take just a minute to point to the beautiful posters that are behind me. These are part of a wonderful campaign that Partners Healthcare has launched to supplement the work that they're doing in, in Revere, Chelsea, Salem, and Lynn. And um, there are these posters and these messages to encourage people to eat better and move more on buses, on trains, in bus stops, in train stations, um, even up on a billboard on Broadway coming soon this winter, as well as in um, the screen time at the Showcase Cinemas here in Revere. So we really want to thank them so much for helping us spread the word about the importance of these choices and by creating these beautiful visuals that we get to keep. Um, I wanted to close this morning first off by thanking the mayor, the Department of Public Health, Partners Healthcare, uh, Mass General Hospital, Revere Cares, and our city officials who are here this morning. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, and we could not do what we do without the incredible leadership and commitment of the Revere on the Move Task Force, many of whom are here with us this morning. Would you all please stand? These people have dedicated countless hours and energy to tailor our strategy for meeting all of the goals that were discussed today. Um, and they have been tireless advocates, and we are so very lucky to have such phenomenal community leadership on such an important issue. We are so excited about the steps being taken as part of Revere on the Move and the support we've received from our partner organizations who are also with us here today, um, the Neighborhood Developers, the Beachmont Improvement Committee, the Revere Beautification Committee, the Revere Beach Partnership, Walk Boston, the Bar Foundation, Millions of Muscles, who coordinated our fitness challenge last spring, and the Revere Public Schools, of course, and so many others. So we really owe all of you so much, and we could not do our work without you. Thank you. We are also excited to welcome Dimple Rana, who is our new Revere on the Move neighborhood organizer. Dimple's been here for two weeks today, and um, she's going to be working with people across Revere to find ways to make healthy choices easier in all of our neighborhoods. Um, together, with the support of everyone here in this room today, and everyone who's out there in the community who cares about making Revere a vibrant, healthy place to live, we are building momentum and making Revere exactly that. So thank you all so much. Um, and if you're interested in getting more involved, feel free to stop by Revere Cares or City Hall anytime. Come see me, come see Sylvia, and we would love to get you involved. So thank you so much for being here today, and you all make this happen. So thank you. <laughs>